Okay. Where do you want me to start? Um, uh, the breakup? Damn, jeez, Flushing didn't even get me breakfast, already asking me to put my heart on my sleeve. Who do you think you are? Academy Award winner, a 90s heartthrob, Nicolas Cage? Tommy, I can't do this anymore. You bring me down every single day. Welcome to my life, Cavity. Don't call me a Cavity. Well, not my fault you sound like a Cavity. I apologize. That was out of line, even though absolutely correct, out of line. See, this is exactly what I mean. You're so mean to me, you know? Maybe I just need someone new who understands my Whoa, 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 Need someone new? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe? Oh my gosh! One cavity and I'm flushing and kicked to the curb like Nicolas Cage after the Wicker Man. It's not about the cavity. It's... It's so much more than that. I'm seeing someone new. I'm sorry. Who is he? I'm not telling you. Is it, is it Johnny from the deli? No. Or Harry, your drug dealer. I, I don't even do drugs. I know, but I do. Please leave. Just, just get out of my house, please. Hmm. Hmm. Stupid. Share no trying to tell me what to do. And so that's about all that happened. But the important thing is. I'm gonna find whose shoes those are. And I'm gonna give them so many cavities, they're gonna wish they had dentures. And then when they get dentures, I'll give their dentures cavities. So uh, the shoes I found were working boots, and I, I mean, it wasn't very hard. The only guy I know who has working boots that big is Larry from Construction. Don't ask how I know that. But I think if I'm gonna start anywhere, it's, uh, it's him. Why were your shoes at my hey, wife's okay, house, Larry? Okay, Jesus, uh, I'm Sharon. Uh, I didn't want you to know, but she was, she was gonna start on that 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 man cave that you've always wanted in the basement. So I came over and I I, I was just helping measure out the floors. Okay, man. Um, uh, but 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 between you and me, uh, I did see Harry come over and they went into the bathroom together, and it seemed kind of shady, dude. I appreciate you, Larry. You've always been loyal to me. And, uh, don't go in your bathroom. Harry, you know I'm a fan of your work, but what the flush were you doing with hey, my wife? Yo, chill with that. Look, I was just helping her figure out what drugs to do what uh, to help with your man cave. Enough with the man cave. You're making me feel like an ungrateful asshole. I'm the victim here because my wife is cheating on me, okay? Okay. Thank you, Harry. Hey, can, can I have it? <coughs> <coughs> Thanks, man. I <laughs> <laughs> I really need that. You, 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 you always know what I need, Harry. You just, you just, you're just such a good guy. You just, you just, you just get me. Hey, just... Look, man. I'm only gonna tell you this, all right? So, did you find out anything from Harry? That the only people you can trust in this world are drug dealers and juggalos. And if I want to find my wife's lover, I just need to meet her between the time of crowning and the period of death. What the fuck that means? I think it means right before she goes to bed. Flush and buzz pick! Just needed an upgrade, huh? Mommy! Oh, just a little wiggle wiggle, huh? Shake a little here, shake a little there. Is that it? What's to find out like this? It is I, Gerald. Bust my bristles, bitch! Tommy, do you ever calm down? No! And that's your problem. You push everybody who's remotely close to you away, including me. And you're too busy looking at the arrogant asshole in the mirror to even notice. But, 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 No, Gerald, Tommy, I... leave. Get out of my house. And get some help. <sighs> hey guys, how you doing? Good, Mr. Chosen. Yourself? Well, I haven't tried to kill myself in the past 15 minutes, so uh, better than 15 minutes ago. Rehab was good, I guess. You know, 
cost me fucking fortune. Whoa, whoa, but... whoa. Tommy. Look, I tried holding my tongue for a whole five minutes and 46 seconds, and look where that got me, so fuck you. Oh, shit. Sharon. Sharon! 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 I can hear you. You're sitting right next to me. Sorry, it's just you look really far away because, you know, I'm a toothbrush and, and you're a human, so, like, that's a lot of distance. What do you want, Tommy? Well, Sharon, I wanted to tell you that after we have, I got really existential. We only have, like, 30 seconds to wrap this up, so I wanted you to know that I know why you disliked me so much. It's because I'm an arrogant asshole who only cares about himself, and I didn't see you hurting. And that's, like, what I've been trying to get you to say this entire film. Where were you, like, a minute ago? I guess what I'm trying to say is... I'm sorry. Okay. What? You're supposed to say I forgive you and then we kiss. Hey, that's what the script says, right? We're supposed to kiss, right? Well, I'm not just going to forgive you after the 15 years of hell you put me through. That doesn't change how much you hurt me. Tonight and go to my place. Yes! I will, Sharon! See, fuck you guys! I can do what I want because I'm a troubled male protagonist and I can do what I want! You can't touch me, bitches! Fuck you!